welcome to my channel yay my new channel um if you don't know my name is morgan aka desire j and this is actually my first youtube video yeah <laughs> that's so exciting because i've been saying that i was gonna do this forever and i have not done it so i'm super excited to finally set everything up and get it on and popping um I decided that I wanted to record a video about my birth story. Um, my daughter is five months old now, and like I said, I've been saying that I'm, I was going to do this video since she was born, <laughs> and I have yet to do it. So here we are. All right. Um, so here's my daughter. Her name is Catalea. And I guess she could be in this video too. She's a little busybody, so she's probably going to be all over the place. But here we are. Okay, so first off, okay, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I woke up that morning. Um, my due date was August the 6th. I gave birth on August the 4th, okay? So I woke up on... August the 3rd, super pregnant and over it, like completely. I was just ready to have my daughter, you know, and I was crying about everything. She's co-signing. But yeah, I was crying about everything. I was tired of being pregnant. I just felt like I was a big blob and I just didn't feel too good about myself. So I basically had like an emotional meltdown and... I knew that like she was going to be coming soon. I just didn't know when. I had my membrane sweep twice. The day before uh, I went into labor, we walked around the mall twice. We did like two mile, two mile walk around our neighborhood. Like I was just trying to, you know, get her out. You get what I'm saying? Like I was just done at that point. Like the beginning of pregnancy is so beautiful. It's like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. I can't believe that, you know, there's a life inside of me. And then you get to the third trimester and, and plus it was like August. So I was super hot, like really hot and uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, that's that. Okay. So back to the, back to the story. I woke up that morning super emotional, not feeling good about myself. So my husband decided that he wanted to surprise me. And he said, throw something on. Throw something really pretty on. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go in my closet and I, you know, get this blue cheetah print dress that I wore for my baby shower. And um, he took me to a garden. Um, it's a garden that we really enjoy here in Maryland. And he took some pictures of me and made me feel all pretty. And that was really fun. And then after that, um, I remember we went to the Verizon store to go get, I think his phone looked at because his phone was acting stupid. And then after we left the Verizon store, we were walking and I just remember that I was really hungry at that point, <laughs> like really, really hungry. And I smelled pizza. But I was all over the place. Like, I wanted everything. I smelled pizza, but my body wanted um, pot belly. There's this sandwich that I like to get from pot belly. It's a, um, it's a, um, not marshmallow. What do you call it? Mushroom. Mushroom, bacon, cheese, and ranch. Okay, that is like my all time favorite from pot belly sandwich shop. So we went down to pot belly um, in downtown Baltimore and, um, I got my food, and then uh, he wanted Chipotle. I don't like Chipotle. I never had. Well, that's a lie, okay? I did like Chipotle, Chipotle, but I felt like they fell off. So, he went to Chipotle, and um, while we were eating our food, okay, um, he, I ate all my food, okay, and he had his. And I was so hungry. Remember I said I don't like Chipotle. But I was so hungry that I looked at his food and I ate his food too. And while I'm sitting there eating a Chipotle, I felt like like a big, like a gush, right? So I got up 
and I ignored it. I was like, oh, you know what? It's probably just mucus. TMI, when you're pregnant, you get a lot of mucus, like a whole lot, okay? So I sat back down. I'm like, it's just mucus. Like, it's nothing. Because, like, we had so many false alarms. Like, I was just so, like, tired at that point. It's like, we, we've had so many false alarms. This is not the real thing. Like, it was like the boy who cried wolf, okay? So I sat back down, and then next thing you know, there it was. I looked at my husband and I said, my water is breaking right now as we, as we speak. <laughs> and he's like, what? I said, yeah. I said, we got to go. He said, we got to go. And all the employees are looking at me like, oh, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I'm just saying, we got to go. We got to go. We got to go. So we literally technically ran to the car because at that point I wasn't feeling any contractions, you know, and I called my mom and my grandmother and then he called his grandparents and his parents and um, I'm not going to say what hospital we went to. I'm going to leave that part out. But um, we ended up going down to the hospital. And at that point, I was wondering why I wasn't having any contractions. You know, the whole time, I'm just like, why am I not feeling any contractions? You know, my water broke. And hold on. I think she wants to say hi. Can you guys see her? Well, there she is. Catalaya, look at the camera. Look at the camera, baby. She's too busy looking at everything else. She just woke up from a nap. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm wondering why I'm not feeling any contractions. And the lady that was checking me in, she was like, oh, don't worry. They're going to hit. And they're going to hit hard. Like, don't rush them. And I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. So they checked me in. And this is the part that it gets, like, weird, okay? They checked me in. And... Um, I remember one of the nurses asking me, he said, are you sure your water broke? And I was like, yeah. I said, look at me. I'm soaked. He's like, have you passed the towel test? And I'm like, towel test. He's like, yeah, you put a, a towel underneath of you. And if you take it out and it's soaked, then your water broke. If not, then it's a false alarm. I'm like, no, my water broke. Like it broke. Okay. So they did the little, um, test that tells if your water broke and, Two out of three of the tests came back negative. Like one came back positive and the other two came back negative. So they tried to send me home. They're like, oh, you know, Miss Simmons, you know, um, it's just mucus. You know, we're going to send you home. And I'm like, no, like you can't tell me that it's just mucus. I'm soaked, you know. And um, I didn't go home, basically. <laughs> they, they, they were not getting rid of me. Like, that's just not what was going to happen. So I ended up calling my mom, and I'm like, Mom, you know, they're saying that it's just mucus. And she's like, well, you know, sometimes that's just how it is. I'm like, no, I know that my water broke. Like, I know my body, basically. So um, they came back in, and while the uh, nurse was discharging me, okay, I felt another huge gush. So I looked at him and I said, I just want you to know that while you're trying to discharge me, my water is literally breaking right now. And he said, wait, what? I said, yeah. So he pulls out the little strip and it came back positive. He's like, oh, well, let me go get the doctor. So he goes to get the doctor and basically, again, two out of the three tests came back <laughs> negative. One came back positive, the other two came back, you know, negative. And I'm just like, well, one of them came back positive, so that must tell you something, you know? So... I wanted to go all natural. That was my plan. I didn't want to get any medicine. I didn't want the Pitocin. I just wanted to, you know, push her out naturally. Okay, that's just what I wanted to do. But um, the doctor came in and she told me, she said, you know, this happens all the time. Your water didn't break. We're going to have to discharge you or induce you. She, oh, I'm sorry. She gave me three, three options. She said, we can discharge you. Hi, baby. She said, um, we can give you the Pitocin and induce you, or you can walk around the hospital for about two hours. So that's what I ended up doing. I called my mom. Uh, I asked my husband to go home and feed my cat and get everything else that we needed. And me and my mom ended up walking around the hospital and, oh, she gave TMI, TMI. She gave me a pad, okay, and I put the pad on uh, because, like I said, I was soaked and I was continuing to, like, you know, gush out this fluid. So me and my mom are walking around the hospital and I'm like pissed at this point. Not not like, not literally pissed. I mean, I guess you could say pissed because I was soaked, but not like 
literally pissed like mad pissed yeah I was like I was mad pissed there we go so yeah anyway um I'm walking around the hospital and I looked at my mom and I was like mom I said you know I'm soaked like they can't tell me to go home at this point I was so upset guys like <sighs> doctors need to listen seriously like if you say your water broke we know our bodies that it, it broke you know so I ended up going back upstairs and I was so angry at this point that this is kind of crazy um, pregnancy makes you do some crazy things <laughs> I pulled the pad off in front of all the nurses and I held it up and it was soaked. You want to play? It was soaked. So I ended up holding it up and in front of all of them and I said, so you guys are still going to tell me my water didn't break? And the doctor goes, oh honey, honey, you're ruptured. You're ruptured. She's agreeing with me. She's saying, yeah, we know. Yeah. But that's exactly what I said. Yeah, I said, yeah, I know. You don't say. I, I told you guys this like five, I'm sorry, 45 minutes ago. So um, they ended up putting me in the room. They, they ended up admitting me. And at that point, uh, I still was not having contractions. Um, so they, I think I was, two, yeah, I was two centimeters dilated, 70% efface. You know, you got to be 10 centimeters dilated to have a baby. You know, that's. That's just what it is, you know, your cervix has to go from, like, this to, like, this. So, um, I wasn't having any contractions, two centimeters dilated, 70% effaced, and she told me that at that point, they didn't want to send me home because, um, my water had already broken, and the, the longer I went with my water broke and not having this little girl, the more of a chance it would be for an infection, okay? So... Um, they, she said basically, you know, we can induce you or we can send you home, which is not recommended. And again, I was not trying to go home and I didn't want to be induced either. So I'm like, okay guys, you know, just give my body some time, you know, like give it some time. It's not going to happen overnight, you know? Well, it is going to happen overnight, but <laughs> you get what I'm, you get what, you get what, you guys get what I'm saying. Like it's, it's not going to happen right now. It's my first baby and this is just, I mean, she was just being stubborn. So... Um, about two hours later, she came back in, contraction still hadn't started yet, then she came back six hours later, finally my contractions had just started, and guys, they were intense, okay, like, intense, I-N-T-E-N-S-E, -E. intense, they hurt like crap, okay, so, she came in, and she's like, um, <clears throat> you know, Every time I pick her up, she falls back out. <laughs> She's like, you know, your contraction started, but you're still two, two centimeters um, dilated. I say, okay, we'll just uh, just give it a little bit more time. You know, they, they just started. They're probably going to pick up from here, you know. But they insisted on putting me on the Pitocin. I cried because, like I said, I wanted to go natural. I didn't want to get the Pitocin. Um, they ended up giving me the Pitocin. Everyone in the room basically convinced me. My mom, she's like, Morgan, you know, you got to do what's right for the baby. My husband, oh, you got to do what's right for the baby. The doctor, you got to do what's right for the baby. Meanwhile, I'm just like crying my eyes out because like I said, I wanted to do natural. But hey, it doesn't matter. I ended up getting a Pitocin and then uh, I got the epidural because at that point, the pain was unbearable. Um, that's what the Pitocin does. It kicks up your contractions a notch so you don't really get a break it's like contraction after contraction after contraction and they hurt so basically I labored all night um, and then morning came and uh, that's when I felt like I had to take the biggest poop of my life uh, yeah I felt contractions in my booty and they hurt bad real bad like I felt like I had to poop so I told the doctor I'm like I feel like I gotta go to the bathroom and she was like well I mean just go <laughs> and I'm like wait what can I just get up and like go in the bathroom and go and she's like nah I mean you gotta you gotta be right there I mean the, the um epidural numb like numbs you in um anyway so I couldn't feel my legs so I had no choice but to sit there and you know make it happen so they were telling me that it's probably just the baby which it was the baby um Catalea was coming down 
you know, down, down, down. And it was just pressure, okay? So at that point, um, I was five centimeters dilated, okay? So they came back two hours later, I was seven centimeters dilated, okay? And at that point, I told them again, I said, I feel like I got to go to the bathroom. And they're like, it's just the baby. I said, well, I think it's time to push. And they said it again. It, it's fine. It's just the baby. I said, no, I need to push. You need to go get the doctor. So they came back in and I was nine centimeters dilated. Uh, we did some practice pushes and then she was out. And, you know, when, when she came out, she had the umbilical cord wrapped around her neck. So um, they had to unwrap it. And the whole time I'm just looking around. I'm like, oh, my God, where is she? And when I heard that first cry, that was like the best thing ever. <laughs> um, they brought her back to me. And that was my birth story. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, that was pretty much it. <laughs> this video is over um if you guys have any questions or comments i'd love to know about your birth story how old is your baby um how did you know that you were in labor what were your you know first signs where were you when you went into labor i know that 10 percent of women's waters break not every woman's waters break so that was very interesting to have happen did your water break um tell me your story and thanks for watching bye Say goodbye to Catalea. <laughs> All right.